make your backyard a bird haven. Quit hogging your own backyard. Make it a haven for your fine feathered friends. You will need undisturbed trees or shrubs large enough to provide bird shelter, native plants that provide seeds, berries, and nectar, a water source such as a stream, pond, or bird bath, wildflowers, one or more bird feeders, and birdhouses matched to your local species. Optional, logs. Step one, identify which plants and trees in your yard already attract local bird life. Step two, add native trees, bushes, and flowers that provide seeds, berries, or nectar for wild birds. Consult your state's horticultural or Audubon society for suggestions or ask a local nursery. Think twice before getting rid of dead or dying branches and stumps, which provide shelter to many birds. Consider adding logs to your landscaping. Step three, include water in your yard. A bird bath, fountain, stream, or pond will do the trick. Step four, consider replacing some of your lawn with a wildflower meadow. Even a small patch of wildflowers and tall grass will attract wild birds. Step five, hang bird feeders close to trees so birds can be sheltered and ideally in sight of a window so you can enjoy watching them. Step six, build or buy a birdhouse and then put it up. Check with your local library, fish and wildlife department or Audubon group to see what birdhouses suit your local species. Keep your cats inside. It is estimated that house cats cause up to 100 million bird deaths each year in the US. Step seven, if a bird builds a nest in your yard, leave it in place even after the babies have flown the birds might return next year. Did you know? A study by the National Audubon Society showed that many common birds, from meadowlarks to field sparrows, have recently suffered major population declines.